tag video. I was actually tagged by Miss Lawrence Beauty. What's up, Diva? She's so, so, so pretty. Um, <laughs> and her tags actually weave pet peeves. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the video and. Basically, I guess we're supposed to list five pet peeves that we have about weaves. It can be our weaves, other people's weaves, weaves in general. And before I start, I need to give you guys this one. I'm leaving you with this disclaimer. Like, seriously, my opinion is just my opinion. It should not matter <laughs> to anybody else. So I am not making this video to offend anyone because honestly, I really don't care enough about other people's hair like what other people do with their hair how they wear their hair yeah so this will just be like i guess in general what bothers me so i'll get started pet peeve number one Ugh. what i cannot stand like what bothers me is a pet peeve because i'm my last nerves like you'll never catch me looking like this basically is when someone has like a long silky straight weave and everything is just slicked back <laughs> and there's like a little bump right here like bloop, where the tracks are and then the hair is just slicked over it and like all oh, start from the middle and then come out and the edges will be slicked down and yeah and it's just all going back <sighs> no no i don't know anybody anybody in the whole world that wears their hair like that like natural hair so i feel <laughs> Why wear a weave like that? No, no. Like, it just annoys me. And I haven't seen that many people doing it lately. It used to be a big thing way back in the day, especially like in the late 90s. No. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's pet peeve number one. Okay, so pet peeve number two is stiff weave I'm not talking about if you get an afro weave of course not and I'm not talking about stiff like kinky straight stiff I'm talking about <laughs> like tilt your head down and your hair goes with you stiff that kind of stiff like got a matted up ball in the back of your neck the your hair like just goes like this stiff i'm talking about that crispy crunchy crispy like stiff it's time to either deep condition it or let it go <laughs> no stiff weed for me like no um oh my god this next one stringy weave people This is a pet peeve of mine, okay. I'm not gonna tell anybody anything, this is just me. My stringy weave, stringy, skimpy, oily looking, not even just oily looking, but like stringy, like clumped together strings of hair, pet peeve. I just wanna, like when I see it, I just wanna like take, go find some clarifying shampoo or some dry shampoo and just be like, here you go, like take it. Please. <laughs> and I just want to say this, nine times out of ten, they are wearing Indian hair. Sorry, but that's usually what the culprit is. Which brings me to my next pet peeve. Andy Remy. Andy Remy. Indian Remy, Remy hair, I hate, no, I should not use the word hate, I'm sorry, this is a pet peeve, Indian Remy, Indian Remy, Indy Remy, and Remy hair, maybe I'm bougie, <laughs> oh my, Remy means absolutely nothing anymore like the term the definition of Remy is useless it means that the cuticles are aligned and intact 
and the majority of the hair that you get that's in the in Remy is not cuticle aligned, cuticle intact. <laughs> it's just not. Like if you're getting it from the beauty supply, it's not Remy. So the overuse of the whole Indie Remy, Indie and Remy stuff. Pet peeve. Like it makes me cringe when people say it and when I hear it. <laughs> Which is okay because I don't mind cringing. So yeah. Let's see my next pet peeve. Luckily, in the last like six or seven years, I haven't seen as much. It may just be because of where I live. Because where I am in California, it's the majority of people that have weaves, they look good. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they look, people in California, they look good. They look decent. But, uh, most of them are walking around looking straight up busted. So, but this next pet peeve is the weave that like comes on the track and it's already in like Shirley Temple curls, like spiral curls, and it's like shiny and stiff and crunchy. That is like a pet peeve, like why are you wearing that? Why? <laughs> why? Why do they make it? And another one is the, the top ramen noodle hair, you know, <laughs> the one that's like just crinkles. Like, it looks like top ramen. It looks like ramen noodles. Like, you know, you hold a noodle and it's like crinkly. That's what they look like. I, I don't understand. <laughs> why do they still make this hair? I can't say why do people buy it because if it's in the store, hey, you're going to buy it, right? You have the option. They should stop making it. It's a pet peeve. <laughs> Ugh. And, um. Last pet peeve I'm gonna talk about today. You guys don't yell at me for this. Don't bite my head off. Don't hate me. This is just me and how I feel and how I would never do my hair. And I don't like anybody else that does it. I personally don't prefer it, but other people like it. So I, I just don't like the naturally curly hair like if somebody had naturally curly hair like this and it's like slicked straight and then the curls start or like the hair is like flat iron straight and then the curls start hence why you see my blending my curl starts at the root <laughs> like that's why I can't wear like Indian curly hair and you know, like loose curls and stuff because I just, I can't have that straight at the roots for like two or three inches and then the curls start. And it's like, it's not the same if the hair is like straight and then you curl it, that's different. I'm talking about natural curly hair, like hair that comes curly on the left already. And then, cause it's like the hair looks naturally curly. It looks like it's growing out of your head that way, right? Curly, but then when you see the blending, it's it's like, hold on, you're trying to trick me. <laughs> because it's like, it's growing out of your scalp straight and then it curls. So yeah. Yeah, that, and like if it's slicked down, like, and then the curls start. Mm-mm. Pet peeve. Sorry. No can do. No bueno. Yeah. So, um, I guess now it's my turn to tag somebody and... I don't want to name names, but I'm going to name names because I want to make sure these people know I am tagging them because I want them to do this video. I am tagging Michi Too Cute. I am tagging Cynthia 17 US, Lover for Fashion. Let's see, uh, Adriana Thomas, I'm tagging you. I'm tagging Philly Diva. I am tagging... Can I tag you all things fabulous? You're so nice. I don't know if you'll do it. <laughs> I'm tagging you all things fabulous 101. And let's see, who else can I tag? And I'm tagging Fashions for Less, SL Vixen, uh, La, I love the skin you're in, and gosh, there's so many people to tag. Uh, I am tagging Miss Shatanya. Yeah, Shatanya Beauty Guru. 
Young and Weave edit. I'm tagging, I think it's BV Creations MUA and Poison Flower IV and I'm gonna just list all the people I'm tagging and then I'm also tagging all of my subscribers. I'm tagging everybody who's watching this video through this tag because I can't remember everybody off the top of my head. So yeah, if I didn't say your name, that doesn't mean I'm not tagging you. I'm tagging you. Do the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.